By wide and large, settlement procedure entails the matching of debit and credit transactions within general ledger. The ledger settlement closes debits with credits, indicating the completion and closure of the underlying business events associated with these transactions. In this video, we will explore the new feature of post foreign currency realized gains or losses for ledger settlements. This feature will autonomously calculate and record realized gains and losses in the reporting currency when there is a variance between the reporting currency values of debits and credits in ledger settlements. Hello, I am Mohamed Amir, sharing thoughts around business processes within Dynamics 365 Finance. Taking a closer look at the ledger settlement process, we find ledger transactions containing both debit and credit entries recorded in transaction currency, reporting currency, and accounting currency. For the purpose of this feature discussion, let's consider that the transaction currency is the same as the accounting currency, while the reporting currency differs. During the settlement process, if there is a difference between the debit and the credit amount in the reporting currency, the settlement process automatically generates a realized gain or loss posting to fully match the debit and the credit transactions. In the same context, assuming we have a currency revaluation resulting in unrealized gain or loss before settling a transaction, the procedure involves settling the debit and credit entries first. Subsequently, a currency revaluation is executed to generate unrealized gain or loss transaction, effectively eliminating the prior unrealized balance. Consider an example where a credit transaction is recorded in euro as the transaction currency with GBP as accounting currency and USD as the reporting currency. After running a currency revaluation, an unrealized currency adjustment occurs. Subsequently, a debit transaction is posted. When it comes to the settlement phase and the pairing of the debit and the credit transactions, a discrepancy in reporting currency balance between the debit and the credit becomes evident. In such a scenario, the system will automatically post a realized adjustment. Afterwards, run currency revaluation that result a new unrealized adjustment that offset the previously generated unrealized adjustment, then settle the pair of the unrealized transactions. In order to use post foreign currency realized gains or losses for ledger settlement feature, you need to enable the feature management first. Before enabling feature, make sure to complete the settlement of all designated transactions before activating this feature. Then move to general ledger parameters. Under ledger settlement, you will see two new columns added to the form. Settlement typical balance and calculate gains and losses. Settlement typical balance option specifies the sequence in which ledger settlement information will be executed. Selecting debit initiates the automated ledger settlement process by starting with the debit side and subsequently seeking corresponding credits. On the other hand, Selecting credit starts the automated ledger settlement process from the credit side and searches for the corresponding debits. This selection should align with the typical balance of the main account. Calculate realized gains and losses option determines whether to calculate and post reporting currency realized gains and losses adjustments during the ledger settlement process or not. So if this option is not selected, realized gains and losses will not be generated by the ledger settlement process. Remember to exclude accounts receivable and accounts payable summary accounts from calculated gains and losses option. Since foreign currency gains and losses adjustments are typically realized in the sub ledgers. Let's have a short demo. For this demo, I'm going to use GBSI demo company where the accounting currency is GBP and reporting currency is USD. Also, I have created ledger settlement number sequence under general ledger parameters. At the very bottom, we have this ledger settlement number sequence. Move to ledger settlement to check the post transaction. I have created a new balance sheet account, display transactions. I have posted Credit transaction in euro in January, then executed currency revaluation at the end of January that results unrealized currency adjustment. Then posted debit transaction in February. 
I will settle the credit and debit transactions. Set the settlement date. Give it a description and settle. Change the status to settle the transactions and you will see the system has created a realized currency adjustment automatically. I would like to show you that settlement ID that three transactions have the same settlement ID. And if I want to reverse, I can select one transaction of them and the system will automatically selects the other transactions that share the same settlement ID. Let's check the automatically created currency adjustment transaction. And as you see here, the system posted the transaction to realized currency adjustment loss. The last step, run currency revaluation for February. Here said that from to date, the date of rate, currency, and the main account need to be considered in this process. Here we have the foreign currency revaluation preview and post. Then go back to ledger settlements. Select our main account, display transactions, and here we have the two unrealized exchange rate adjustments mark both of them settle transactions and check the settled transactions moving to the settlement id you will see we have two different settlement ids first one for the debit and the credit transactions that generated the realized currency adjustment and the second settlement ID represents the unrealized currency adjustment settlement. That's it for the short demo. Let's go back to the slides. The key takeaways of this feature before enabling the feature in the feature management, you need to remember that settling all market transactions before enabling this feature. After enabling the feature, you need to know that all market transactions for all legal entities will be unmarked automatically. Beside that, the initial unrealized gain or loss adjustment will be offset by the subsequent currency revaluation, resulting in a new unrealized adjustment. Finally, do not enable calculate realized gains and losses option for your accounts receivable and accounts payable summary accounts. That's it for this video. Stay tuned for more videos and thank you.